wear sunscreen. What's up, my boys? It's a beautiful day today. It's gonna be 26 degrees, clear skies and squirrels. So we are gonna drive to a number of different beaches, pretty close to Lisbon, around 30, 40 minutes outside. And um, we will show you how to roll when the summer is shining on us. It's not starting out exactly as planned because we first rode to uh, Praia de Ribeira do Cavallo, closed, you couldn't even drive there. And then we have this beach uh, called uh, Praia dos Pilotos, which is um, not accessible because of the high tide. Normally you have a little piece of, uh, of sand, but not today. The water do look amazing, however. Luckily, we are in Arabida, and this is basically where, you know, all the Lisboetas, they go to summer. And, um, you know, okay, this one is not the uh, perfect sand beach as uh, the one we intended to go to, but you can get a little, like here's the one we we're supposed to go to. Because of the COVID or something, they have blocked a lot of the traffic to the different beaches. Yeah. So it's it's uh, not easy to go if you have a lot of uh, gear with you. And we always do. Yes. But uh, you know how to sum up in Portugal is to sum up like a Portuguese in many ways. Which means beach time. Beach yeah. time. Beach time. I mean, I think the best way to enjoy summer is beaches, alcohol, and fresh fish. This is also Lara's first um, beach day. Time on the beach. She's supposed to be a water dog, but she's not. She's not super happy with this situation right now. But I mean, she has to learn. Try. I want to see her in the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh my God. She's <laughs> it's not animal abuse, guys. It's a water dog. <laughs> oh, good girl. La, are you mad? Guys, we are so proud to announce our sponsors of this video. We have teamed up with Eva Pola that you already have been presented for. Normally we use their personal air conditioners as humidifiers in our office and in our bedroom. But today we brought it to the beach where it serves a brand new purpose. Because this little puppy is very, very hot and today it chills down Lana. But Amelia, I think this is actually the best uh, use of it. But we're gonna get back to more on that later in this video. First, we need to talk about, Amelie, um, our idea of summer in Portugal. So to me, I think that one of the best way of summering here in Portugal is when you go to El Gab and you just explore all the beautiful beaches that they have there. For example, when we went with Alexandra, he was a local, he showed us all these secret places. <laughs> For me, the way to really summer in, in, in Portugal is when you have these long, warm evenings, you I know. I knew you would say that. <laughs> I mean, that's, that is like the definition of summer in Portugal for me. This is like me when I met Amelia the first time. What on earth does that mean? 
it's not every day you get them during the summer, but uh, it shouldn't be that way either because if you if you experience the true, you know, Indian summer every day, it's not as special as when it actually happens. But also, you know, the smell of Sardinias and the towns mm. and cities. Yeah. Oh, you know, this year we didn't go to Sao Chao. My Sao Cool! My Sao Cool! <laughs> we didn't go to Santo Antonio. Those are the things that, especially if you come as a tourist to Portugal, this is like essential to, you know, experiencing summer in Portugal. I agree. I miss our show in Santo Antonio. I miss Sangria. Sangria! One thing you have to deal with in terms of summer in Portugal is that the weather is usually freezing. Oh, the say, carayo! I feel like freaking out like a Porto fan right now. Obviously, summer in Portugal is super bock. Laying on the beach in the sand, that's more Amelia style. She, she wants to get toasted. But I, I want to get it. roasted. How much of a If you had to describe the best beaches we've been to in Portugal, which one would you mention? Okay, I would probably make a top three, where one would be Praia de Uesa, Asenias do Mar, close to Lisbon and Sintra, Belize Beach in uh, Algarve, that beach was amazing. For me, I've also come to the conclusion that Algarve is summer in Portugal. I mean, there is just nothing that beats sitting at these amazing little restaurants uh, in the evening and it's always warm down there, well, not always, but mostly during summer. Uh, so, and for us living in Lisbon, it's like two and a half hour drive down there, bam, you're there, you leave at 8, you're down there at 10.30, you have the whole day. We are at Praia do, do Meco right now, one of our favorite beaches near uh, Lisbon. And when you look at the stretch all the way down here, I think that is the definition of summer in Lisbon because you have literally a cavalcade of uh, beaches all the way to the, the bridge. What is summer in Portugal and food if, if you had to answer? I mean, you can't have a proper summer day in Portugal without eating a fresh fish specifically at Dourada, which is my favorite fish. You have to have it with lots of olive oil, with a little salad, with your traditionally cooked Portuguese potatoes. And for some reason, 
also with fries because I, Portuguese I got the, people. I got the fries for you, Amelia. Oh, because you did? we've gotten a lot of hate from people saying, you know, you're not Portuguese when you ask for fries instead of the, the potatoes. Of Portuguese food, you know, Aliera all year round. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I don't care if it's minus 80 degrees or plus 80 degrees. Aliera, always. We have Amesuas coming in a few uh, minutes. Amesuas is like the Pringles of the sea. But then Lapash from Madeira. Oh my god, yes, oh. nothing. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? <laughs> oh, talking about summer, this is the smell of summer, oh. honestly. I love Amesuas. They always cook them in garlic and lots of um, salsa. And of course with the olive oil and I'm just like white wine as well. Oh you can see the guy. Is it only one or two? I can't I think it's just one. Okay, that's good. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh god yeah. Wine is really growing on me. I always thought that it was only for Christmas times, but you know, you can enjoy it alone. Alone. Unfortunately, tonight is not one of those warm evenings, but uh, one thing that is hot tonight, Amelia, what is that? That is Eva Pola, because they just came up with a new product. Eva Pure. So Eva Pure is your personal air disinfector and it even improves the air quality. So in these times where hygiene, hand gel, clean surfaces and face mask is more uh, relevant uh, than ever, uh, this is a product that uh, makes more sense than ever because basically addresses all the hygiene, the air quality and all these things that we haven't really focused on forever. Of course Jon and I are passionate about this product because even way before the virus Jon and I would be on the go with hand sanitizers and disinfecting wipes. Amelia? Yeah? Are you a germaphobe? Basically Eva Pure is the size of a coffee mug, so you can easily have it on the go. You can sanitize all surfaces. It disinfects the air around you when you sit it in front of you on a cafe, on the office, in an airplane, you name it. So right now Eva Pola is raising money for Eva Pure and it's on Indiegogo. If you want to get a sweet deal and you also want to get more information about this campaign and the product, you can just go into the description and you can find the link directly to the Indiegogo campaign. But until then, Lara will continue to enjoy her new personal air conditioner. Isn't that right, right Lara? Isn't that right? The last thing that we have to talk about in terms of how to summer in Portugal is obviously you know, accommodation, where do you stay? Uh, and we're talking mainly uh, tourists, but also staycationers. You have got to have the best accommodation that suits you. And that can be a little Airbnb in Felagudu or a very unique place at Nuno's Paradise. A lot of people, they say, you know, I don't care. I just need a place to sleep. I, I always thought that was, you know, balonies. I, I, I believe that even though you're out the whole day and exploring, whatever, having an epic place to come back to and sleep and wake up is absolutely uh, important. It's essential. When it all comes together, I don't think there is a better place to have summer uh, than, than in Portugal. Yeah. I mean, I certainly uh, haven't been anywhere that can compete with this. You know, it's cheap here. It's uh, it's affordable and it's, it's and everything is close to each other. From Algarve to the north, you can do it in six hours. It's spectacular. Comment below and let us know what you think. What is your dream summer in Portugal? Obrigada por ver o vídeo, guys. <laughs> Até logo. What is she gonna say, Amelia? She's gonna say. Até logo, guys. In the next video, we're going up north, way up north. <laughs>